Guys, my dream came true. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Uh, no, no, I'm not happy or excited. Uh, uh, I'm neutral at best. Uh, it's pretty sad. Another one of my prophecies has fulfilled, and that happened this morning, and I am shocked. I'm My mind is blown by the pace at which this Israel-Palestine war is escalating. We're only six days in. And Vladimir Putin just compared Israel to uh, the ruling government of Israel, which is a far-right, racist, apartheid, uh, basically fascist regime to Nazis, which is accurate in my opinion. Um, because they're using all the same playbook. They're dehumanizing Jews. It's so ironic. They're doing to the they're doing to Arabs what the Nazis did to them. I mean, you couldn't get it more ironic. And too many. I'll be straight up. Like too many Israelis and too many Jews. They play the victim. They do. They play the victim. Well, that's this is like this. I'm dealing with people in New Zealand like this right now. They always play the victim. But. Uh, there's the victim mentality. Uh, the victim mentality is actually just one side of being a perpetrator. Because you feel victimized, you are justified in being absolutely savage and brutal and aggressive with no mercy and no empathy, and then you become the perpetrator. So there is the victim mentality, which is passive, aggressive, either separately or together. And then there is what I call the victor mentality, which is act and assert act slash assert or accept which is like grace and that's the positive mindset so i mean yeah israel like too many jews and it's not that jews are bad it's that they're being mind controlled by psycho by a small portion of their population jewish elites who are zionists and zionism is a racist racist fascist ideology and these people are complete psychos and they're all into the occult. They're like kind of the Satanist type people, they're like, you know, the worst of the worst, complete psychopaths, a very Machiavellian. They're using extremely sophisticated mind control techniques on the Israeli population and they've put them into mass psychosis. That's just what Hitler did of Nazi Germany. So Putin's comparison is factually accurate in terms of the dynamics of what the ruling class and the government of Israel is doing in terms of mind control to their citizens. They're whipping them up into a state of fury and hatred to do genocide, which is basically what they're doing to Gaza right now. I agree with Putin. So, so Putin just stated, compared what is happening to Gaza to the siege of Leningrad in World War II. For, you, for those of you who don't know, the Wehrmacht, the German army, surrounded that city, which is today called St. Petersburg. The siege of Leningrad lasted for something like over 900 days. It was more than three years. It was amazing the Russians held out. But uh, this was weird because I saw, I saw a tweet about this. Putin compares about an hour and a half ago. Putin compares what's happening to Gaza now to the siege of Leningrad. And then I went and had a shower and I thought to myself, oh, Hey, I wonder if anyone realizes the, the subtext there that that means he's compare he's saying that the Israelis are acting like Nazis, which is huge. Huge cuz you know especially considering what a big deal so many Zionist Jews make about the Holocaust. And he's saying, "No, no, no, you're acting like Nazis." I mean, that's the that's the strongest criticism Russia has ever made of Israel. Well, I just thought of that in the shower and then I went down to have a coffee and then I looked up on YouTube and there are videos and there's a video from Crux and it says, did Putin just compare Israel to Nazis? Well, yes, he did in a more subtle way. And actually, that's fair. I mean, guys, what's happening in Gaza is horrific. They're doing war crimes. They're, they're, it's, based, it's borderline genocide. They've, they're bombing civilian homes as collective punishment and they've, um, they're cutting off water and energy and food. Um, that's 
And West, the West is totally hypocritical. When Russia did, I'm not saying I support what Russia is doing in Ukraine, but when Russia did that to Ukraine, they said, oh, this is a war crime, this is terrible. When Israel does it, silence. That's total BS. So Putin's right to call them out. And China just called them out too. China just said, this is unjust. Guys, this is huge. This has never happened before. The, the stance of Russia and China's leaders on the Israel-Palestine conflict in the past has always been extremely uh, tactful and even-handed and bipartisan. And now it's anything but. Putin's saying, stop it, you're acting like Nazis. And China's saying, this is not okay. Israel, this, what, Israel, what you're doing is unjust. That's never happened before. And that happened just today. That, that complete change in tone. That's a fulfillment of the prophecy I made like over six months ago. I'll put the link in the video below. The link to that video in the description box below so you can go see for yourself. You can, I, I was showing the three flags of Russia, Iran, and China unfolding over the UN headquarters building in New York. And then I saw a banner saying no more tolerance for, for Israeli abuses of the human rights of Palestinians. Well, look what's happening. Holy crap. It, that prophecy just fulfilled. Okay, that's the first bit. The next part is, well, yeah, I've shown ultimately Israel will be destroyed. Okay, that's not really the subtopic of this video, but we can see things moving this, in that direction. I will say with regard to that, I will see if I can find an article, the article and news about this. this the news is coming out about this so fast. Okay, uh, Hezbollah forces, there are already skirmishes on the border, northern border of Israel with uh, Hezbollah, which is the ruling political Islamic political group that runs Lebanon right now. And Lebanese troops destroyed two IDF, Israel, Israeli Defense Force, Israeli Defense Force IVFs, infant, uh, IFVs, infantry fighting vehicles. What did they destroy them with? Cornet ATGMs. That, uh, that's anti-tank guided mis missile system. Like, like, uh, so that's a Russian weapon system. So Russia is supplying Iran and Hezbollah with weapons to fight Israel. Russia used to be kind of neutral. Now Russia is out openly condemning Israel. Well, you can see where this is going. I think that's just going to intensify. And, and we're all, like I said, that's supporting those events that I just described are supporting the idea that the second part of that prophecy will fulfill in time. But the first part just fulfilled. My mind's pretty blown, to be honest. I'll put some links in the description box below. The UN has also been coming out and openly uh, calling out Israeli war crimes in a way they have never done in the past. And that is unprecedented also. So that prophecy has fulfilled. Uh, uh, my mind is blown, quite frankly, and um, it, it, it's, I'm, it's sad, but it looks like this war is only going to get worse because no one's backing down. And there's a lot of there's a huge amounts of hate, resentment and fury on both sides that are pent up and it's being released like an LPG, LPG gas canister that's just been shot with a 50 cal with a 50 cal sniper rifle. It's just an explosion and the explosion, unfortunately, is just starting for what I'm from what I'm seeing. So that prophecy has fulfilled. That's number six on this channel that I made that's fulfilled. Thank you.